All right, everyone. We are back after some Christmas time. Playing it takes two and means I'm probably going to get on the new quest. Invitation for Vogel. Quoted Manchia's mention in on Turquoise Lane across Cordoba Abbey. I send you appropriate outfit for this place to avoid any unnecessary complications. I hope it fits. Okay. Um Court Manchia's mansion Manchia's mansion. <laughs> Turquoise Lane across from Cordona Abbey. Turquoise Lane. Uh Turquoise Lane. Where is Turquoise Lane? They said north, this one, right? Am I stupid? In Norton Grand Serre. To cross Cordona Abbey. North. No, that's Calaria. What am I missing? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> There's Turquoise Lane. Finally found it. Turquoise from Cordona Abbey. Uh, what? Is it maybe here? Invitation from Vogel. Yes. Okay, so let me change into that crazy costume. Is this the thing that I'm supposed to wear? With the mask? A normal mask for normal people. Lol. Oh, sail there. Lol. Is he looking at me? No. <laughs> Alright. Turquoise lane. Actually, the good thing if I put him to the red one is that he's gonna stand out, so... Maybe we'll stick to it. How's everybody doing? <laughs> this looks like something's happening here. Manchu's mansion, like I found it. <laughs> Hello, excuse me, sir. Welcome to the Manchu's mansion. Well, thank you. Everybody's wearing this stupid. Thanks. Hello? Friends, hello. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Is there anyone here? Chattel will probably know. Like I'm here. Welcome, sir. I do hope you enjoy yourself. Well, we'll see about that. Ooh, okay. I'm enjoying myself. Nice. Nice start. What you gonna say? I think we deserve a rest. Heck yeah. Enjoy the evening, sir. There is still plenty of time before the grand finale. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> Alright. Vogel. 
What if I write an article about these people here? Can you help me gather information about Cordona's elite? Elite. Sacrificial lamp. Don't ask me to look for information that he might use to write an article exposing the local elite. Excuse me, just one question. Uh, do, don't take it personally, sir. Uh, but I know nothing about this. Jesus, shut up. May I ask for your assistance? I have nothing to hide, sir. But I've never heard of this. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Hi. You have such pretty hair. Mm -hmm. What can you do with them? Mm -hmm. Hey, Ansel. I see that look in your eyes. <laughs> oh, I heard the finale will be spent. Shipplanded. Don't act like you haven't thought about I know the perfect girl for you. May I ask for your assistance? Oh, sir, I'm afraid I don't know about that. Yeah, it's not something that you should talk about. It doesn't have the... There's supposed to be champagne. It looks very transparent. Do not distract me. It's not easy to play blindfolded. My goodness, I'm Sherlock. They made a blood fountain. No, John, it's definitely not blood, just wine. The whore, is it a guess? The wine vapors from here will be enough to get me tipsy. I hope. <laughs> Is off limits. Look, I'm an outlaw. Oh. Let me know if you need anything, sir. I need to go up, sir. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Getting spicy. Nancho's had to enforce the masks after the scandal. Scandal. Too poor to attend. No. Too ugly without mask. No. Political crisis. Uninvited priest. Someone was sick. No. False bats. Political crisis and what was there? I think. Nancho's had to inform. Someone was sick. No. Too ugly without a mask. No. Fired after incident. No, I did please no, was bad, no. And that's just political crisis. Oof. Yellow press. People describe a scandal from a previous party. Vice Governor Cowden was found by his wife to be a Prussian duchess in the company of young men. Although the marriage was intended to be a political one, the emotions of the duchess were real. The incident instigated a political crisis between Cordona and Prussia. Prussia. Although there were only a few notes of protest, the governor fired his protege. That's what I like about this party. Bring me more dirt, Sherry. What? Bring me more dirt, Sherry. One more piece, and I can expose these base hedonists. <laughs> Honey, you feeling lonely? I'll be your friend. Uh huh. Ooh. Okay, so it was this thing here. Let's take the other one. Hello. Honey, you feeling lonely? You think so lonely? Mm-hmm. Ooh, something. Sherlock, friend. I wasn't sure you'd come. I uh, see you are not yourself. The more time you spend here in Cordona, the more I feel it my duty to bring you into our world and show you all we have to offer. And what is on offer today? Pleasure, indulgence, relief and relaxation. You've earned some time for yourself, have you not? Those who know me would say I'm incapable of it. 
<laughs> Nonsense. I refuse to believe there is anyone permitted to know Sherlock Holmes. Huh. You may be right. Then free yourself from inhibition and expectation. The night is young, and so are the guests. You should try to enjoy both. It's not healthy for handsome men to spend every night alone. And certainly not in a house filled with such melancholic memories. I must admit, my travels have proven more taxing than expected. I'm less confident in my life and myself. A time of relaxation seems a distant dream. So can I tempt you as a physical aid to your moral consolations? There's wine, of course. Something to smoke. Or perhaps an artificial paradise? Yes, something more spiritual. A potentiator to sharpen the mind. A 7% solution of, well, that'd be telling. But you must try it. My mind is my most valuable asset and a finely tuned instrument. I will not risk impeding its function. My ultimate duty is to provide the world with truth, and I do that perfectly well as is. Duty? You've never cared about that before. Of course I do. Exposing a lie, revealing a fact, that is a moral responsibility. <laughs> That's not morality. Morals are what happens afterwards when truth collides with consequence. Do you ever follow up on cases you solved? Do you ever see what happened next? Visit the victims? Ensure justice is served in the courts? And how do you choose where to direct your attention? Are there not deserving causes to which your brilliance could be applied but isn't? You ascribe me more power than I possess. I have a narrow skill set and work within that mandate. What occurs afterward is irrelevant. With every action or inaction, you place a finger on the scales of morality. Many in the city would see you as abdicating your responsibility. I, I haven't. Not me, of course. Morality is subjective, just like truth. There is little to be gained from indulging in it, and far better things to indulge in. Now I must insist on easing any burdens I've placed upon your shoulders. Show yourself a kindness, and try this rather delectable concoction. <laughs> if this solution truly does assist with thinking, then perhaps it would be puerile to overlook an opportunity to study it. I'll take it with me. Yes, Sherlock. Very good. And now, our evening begins in earnest. <laughs> I just remembered. I'm sorry, Sherlock. My mind's delightfully impaired. Please take this key. It opens the altar room, past the library. Pardon? Altar room? What now, Verna? Go quickly and find our Fabio. Only you can make him talk. I'll join you in a minute. Hey, what? Okay. She's like it's coming from there. I still need that story. My husband thinks I am playing bridge here. One of these books must open a secret passage. I know it. Wait, is it supposed to be here or no? Altar room... Altar room where? <laughs> Well-known and recent plays to keep up to date with the current trends. Oh, it actually does nothing. I see. These medieval botany and chemistry books look even more satanic than the romantic poetry and prose. Codex Orcus. Why does this occult book sound like a flower? Curtains do not guarantee privacy. And you still need a crack, despite being ethereal. I'm coming, Sherry. Just give me another second. No, 
Bob's head before Mancho's family. Mysterious appearance. Uh, ruins? No. Broad? No. Magic circle. Magic circle. <laughs> and so many things that I missed. Well. Fraud, no. Ancestral home, no. This architect. Ruins. Magic circle. Magic circle, occultist something. Rod, no. Occultist architect, ancestral home, no. Magic circle. Ruins, no. Auction, no. Mysterious appearance. For Manchester's family, the mansion was owned by an occultist architect. He dedicated his life to conducting a profile ritual from the Forgotten Tome, but the ordinary magic circles proved too weak. Right? That was why he built his mansion. A keen eye might notice that its shapes correspond with certain magic symbols and some walls have cavities. One day the architect simply disappeared. An ash stain on the floor was all that remained. Perhaps he was successful in his Okay, are we done with this thing? Thank you, Sherlock. Okay, thank you, Sherlock. Good. So I guess there's only one way where we can go now, and that is straight. Elimination method. Was he here this whole time? Say what? Focus testimony. This crude tattoo partially covers a slave branding. A blunt force trauma may have suffered an internal hemorrhage. Internal hemorrhage. What is this thing? This golden handle has a blood stain on it. The dagger is heavy and sharp, but lacks balance. The wound is deep. A precise strike reached the heart. This worm-like sigil has been drawn with his own blood. has clenched the fabric so firmly in his fist that it's nigh impossible to remove it. He died right here. <laughs> the herbs here are salvia divinorum. They have a slight hallucinogenic effect to emphasize the ceremony. This elaborate box must be for the ritual dagger. This oil has a slight aroma of flowers and olive. The ointment smells mouse-like. I presume it is an aphrodisiac prepared from a Spanish fly. He's here now. What the fuck? This one looks like a twisted symbol of Venus drawn in a hurry. 
The sign reminds me of the astrological symbol for Mars. And falling asleep, boys. Enough cigars to burn down the entire mansion. Why don't people tidy up after themselves? Blood. A sturdy bottle met a not so sturdy human. It didn't break only because it was unopened. An open wound spoiled the carpet. <laughs> what about a quick pillow fight? Wait, how did I get here? I'm falling asleep. Fuck. Maybe it's better if I just take a break. The pitcher is empty, but with puddles <coughs> around it. Blood clots are adhered to the sides of the drain. Identical to the robes the guests are wearing. Props, decorations, and tools for a more detailed set. I'm sorry, I'm just so tired.